हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल वेलकम बैक टू अनदर ब्रांड न्यू वीडियो फ्राम सेंट पीटर्सबर्ग इन रशिया सो एज यू माइट हैव ऑलरेडी सीन इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट आई ट्रैवल फ्राम कोलकाता टू सेंट पीटर्सबर्ग वाई आर दुबई एंड राइट नाउ आई एम हेयर लिविंग इन सेंट पीटर्सबर्ग दिस एरिया इज नोन एज उलिसा मातरोश्का and right now i'm going to the metro station here which is called chornaya riachka or black river so where am i going today well every student and employee for an employee in russia needs to go through a medical examination this is the new law so right now i'm heading towards a clinic where this medical test will be done so i decided to share it with you it would be helpful for future students so join me in my trip to the clinic and also witness me getting my medical examination done so as i already mentioned this law has been introduced pretty recently in russia and every international student and foreign employee who is coming to russia after december 2022 needs to go through this medical examination on a mandatory basis The results of this medical examination will be valid for one year, which means every year you have to do this medical test repeatedly to keep your status of an immigrant in Russia. Although it might seem like something of a daunting task, but trust me, this isn't really something to be scared of. The medical examination is not an independent task so after you have received your medical report you also need to go to a fingerprint registration center which is the place where government employees of the Russian Federation would register your fingerprint take your photographs and provide you with a green card so this green card is usually valid for 10 years and it is a record of your biometric data inside the database of the russian federation all of this work is done for free so you do not need to pay anything to the medical center or to the document registration center at all if you are a student or an employee you can obviously ask for help from the university or your employer I'm sure they will always be ready to provide you with help. In my case, I received help from my university which is Itmo University and they were kind enough to guide me and escort me throughout the process. So while talking with you about the entire procedure, I reached the metro station Chornaya Rechka and overall the metro stations in Russia mainly in St Petersburg and Moscow are no less than a tourist attraction. As you can see the entire place is so beautiful. Metros are one of the most convenient, quickest and also reasonable modes of transportation in St Petersburg. The entire city is well connected across five lines of metro services and the ticket prices usually cost around 70 ruble per trip but if you are a student or if you purchase a monthly card you would get heavy discounts on this fare for example me as a student only have to pay 740 rubles a month for an unlimited number of trips in st petersburg for those 30 days So that's an incredible deal in terms of monetary benefits. So right now I am out of the metro station and here you can see the cityscape of St Petersburg. Today is a very pleasant and wonderful day. You can see the beautiful white clouds on the blue sky. and from here i will now walk down to the medical center which is around a 10 minute walk from this particular place so right now i am walking from the alexander nevsko metro station 
to the venue, the medical center. The weather is very pleasant. It's a little bit hot, but it's pleasant to walk. Talking about the medical test itself, first of all, you would have to visit a doctor who would ask you some simple questions about your overall health and he will also record your blood pressure and other simple examinations. That's the first part. Then you go for some tests. So you have to submit your blood sample and also urine sample for some regular chemical tests. And finally, you would have to complete the fluorography examination, which is the X-ray of your chest, which is a test for the diagnosis of tuberculosis. And so that was it. My examination was done and I was free to leave. So first of all, let me tell you what are the documents that are needed for doing this test. You would definitely need your original passport. A translation of your passport into Russian, your registration card that you will get from the place that you are living, maybe a dormitory or an apartment, and finally SNILS. So SNILS is like the document or the record of all your medical history in Russia. So you will definitely need that one as well. And once you have all your documents, you have to just produce it at the reception and they will take care of whatever is needed. A few signatures here and there and that's all. And that's pretty much it. That's how you get your medical tests done. Contrary to some other reports from other students, my examination didn't even take 30 minutes, hardly 30 to 40 minutes. So it was very smooth, very easy. And once you know the details, once you know the process, it is not really tough. So that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something about the medical test procedure here in Russia. And you are now better prepared for whenever you come here as a student or an employee to get your medical tests done. So that brings us to the end of this video. I know this video is a bit shorter than my usual ones. But in this video, I wanted to highlight and show you one of the most important procedures that foreigners need to go through if you are planning to live and work here in Russia or even study in Russia. So I think this video is important from that point of view. If you have any more questions regarding the medical examination procedure, feel free to ask me that in the comments down below. In the end, I would request you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned because very soon I will be back with my regular vlogs. And the next vlog is going to be very, very interesting because I will be visiting one of the most famous places here in St. Petersburg. To watch that video, make sure to hit the notification bell and stay tuned to my channel. I will see you very very soon and until then, stay happy and stay healthy.